Just did a little extra work here. It's fight week, so I'm not doing anything too crazy, trying to avoid injury. I did get a little shiner from Manuel Fernandez. He uh, accidentally caught me. Look, he's over there relishing in it right now. Boom. But uh, just working on some some ground and pound, uh, just going through the motions, really. Here with Craig Jason Willingham, one of the hottest prospects on the East Coast, if not the country. He will be pro sooner rather than later. Sooner than later. Yes, um, sir. But yeah, so fight week for me, it's, it's all about just trying to stay healthy and get my weight down, really dial in my nutrition, and uh, honestly, just keep the cardio up, uh, fix, that, fix my game plan, and make sure everything that I want to do in the cage has been mapped out as best as possible. Uh, but for you, you've had plenty of fights already. What are you, 7-0? 6-0, 6-0. 6-0, 6-0. Mm -hmm. But what, do you, what is your kind of routine for, for going through fight week? Obviously, you cut a bunch of weight, and that's always kind of a brutal task at hand. So what are the most important things that you kind of focus on during your the, the week leading into your fight? I would say the number one thing is, like, making sure... Well, actually, for me, fight week, I'll take you a week earlier. A week earlier, I'm trying to make sure that I'm at a certain limit. So, like, obviously, going into fight week, I don't want to You mean, like, weight-wise? Weight-wise. I don't want to be too high. Mm -hmm. trying to, you know, so normally when fight week first comes in, I'm trying to, like, the day or two before that Sunday, trying to make sure my weight is right or whatever. I usually eat one last, like, really, like, whatever. Party like, meal. Just, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just because I know the, the, ne the, last, the next week is going to be hard or whatever. But um, I'm just trying to stay on my diet. I water load, so it, yeah. at, towards the end of the week is when the energy starts to... <laughs> Waterloading's tough too, man. I, I gotta drink so much water. It's like you gotta drink these many gallons a day. Yeah, like, the first the first day, like I normally do two to three gallons the That's first so day. Hard. But yeah, fight week is smooth. Yeah, Try, you know, fight week. The, the day you do weight, the day you weigh in should be smooth. You should be like cut your last bit of pounds, and then it should be smooth. Yeah, like for me, it's just all about staying healthy. That's my number one priority: not getting sick yeah. and not getting injured. Yeah, don't do hey, nothing stupid. Don't as long as I make it to the fight, and I feel like everything else will fall into play the way it's supposed to be. Once you weigh, I think fight week is actually my favorite because it gets me in the zone. It's the hardest, but it gets me into the zone of wanting to fight. I feel like I turn into an animal at the mm -hmm. end of the fight week because yeah. I'm like, okay, this dude is maybe cut off. Yeah, I know. I'm like, man, I just want to eat a pizza. I'm dreaming about it. I yeah. had a dream that I had a whole ass pizza and I was going to eat it. But in my dream, I'm like, no, you can't. You got to you gotta make the weight. And so I folded up the pizza and I threw it out. Like in my dream, it, it sucks. It's a sacrifice. Like it really is a sacrifice. And uh, I guess it kind of does kind of like make you that more irritable and angry and like ready to yeah. fight because it's like, like man, I just want to eat a you just sick of it. meal. What? Dude, and once you once you put your once you get your fight meal and everything, you get your nutrients into you, like you feel so much better because you remember how bad you felt. So it almost like boosts your confidence. It's like mm -hmm. if I just made it through this, like I'm not even really so much worried about this task. This is physical. This right here was a mental drain right. and a physical drain. Yeah. Well, Mr. Willingham, appreciate you. How can people follow your journey? Give them your Instagram handle. Uh, uh, Instagram about Billy A B O U T B I L L Y. Dot O N. So about Billy dot on and on Twitter it's about Billy on A B O U T B I L L Y O N no dot on the Twitter. Yeah, so follow me. Right Be on now. the lookout. Is this like the subscribe thing? We like subscribe here. <laughs> subscribe here. I'll put I'll put the handle. So subscribe yeah. here. I always want to do that. I used to want to be on YouTube. But yeah, follow me. Well you now you're on YouTube. out and uh, all the hard work is pretty much done so this week is pretty much just keeping my diet in order uh, cutting down to 185 and uh, keeping up with my cardio staying active keeping moving I'm out here at my favorite little running spot it's called Oak Grove 
Lake Park. It's here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And it's basically a 1.5 mile loop around a little body of water. So I came out here and uh, I got some sprints in, which if you ask anyone who knows anything about fighting, they'll tell you that sprints are like, like the number one thing you can do in terms of cardio. Um, I guess outside of sparring. But uh, that's kind of the, the tempo of a fight, you know, it's raising and lowering your heart rate, you know, maxing out and then resting, maxing out and then resting. Each round in my fight is going to be five minutes. So for sprints, I do a 30 second sprint, rest for two minutes, 30 second sprint, rest for two minutes. I do that 10 times. So it's a total sprint time of five minutes. The reason for a two minute rest in between is so that I can uh, lower my heart rate as much as possible. So that way during the sprint I have to bring it back up. I believe that that gives you way more benefit by lowering your heart rate to a certain rate, bringing it back up, lowering it, instead of kind of just being like right here with it. Uh, that's the reason I sprint that way. Another thing is nobody's making me do this, right? Like no one's telling me to do this, no one's saying I have to do this. This is me just not wanting to gas out in a fight and me wanting to do everything that I possibly can to get the win. So that way, when I go in there, like I mentioned in last episode, the fears are, are very minimized. You, you have to really take it upon yourself because this is a very, it's a solo sport. It's like, yeah, you got a team, you got a fight camp, all this, but at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I mean, it all comes down to you, right? Like you're the only one in there you're the only one that can do it for you. So it's like, if you don't have the drive on your own to get out there and be the best you possible, you know, how can you expect to do well in a fight? Sprinting sucks. Like there's no two ways about it. It's not fun and it hurts, especially doing it 10 times, but it doesn't hurt as much as losing or getting your ass beat in a fight. I want to take the, a second to give a shout out to my one of my sponsors, BetOnline.ag. Big part of this training camp, they helping me out, supporting me, allowing me to put all my focus into this journey. They actually created betting odds for my fight, so uh, you can go to BetOnline.ag, you can bet on me, you can bet on my opponent. They actually listed me as a betting favorite. Big shout out to them, go check them out, BetOnline.ag, and it's not just fighting, it's everything, you know, from sports, entertainment, I mean the whole nine. So I just pulled up to the weigh-in location, got my cooler full of rehydration and refueling supplies, a bunch of strawberries, oranges, Pedialyte, smart water, and I don't know what else is in there. But yeah, time to go make this weight, make it official, do a little presser, and then go stuff my fucking face. <laughs> Made weight 184 on the nose. So I uh, made extra weight. So my opponent's here, still waiting on him to weigh in. Yeah. Oh man, I can't open this fast enough. Hey, can you open that for me? Please. That's true. Hey, slow down, slow down. No, no. Oh, that's good. I know, but not too much. Just a little bit. I'm good. No, baby boy. Oh, that's so good. Okay, it's so delicious. Oh my god. Now it's time to rehydrate, refuel, and then fight. That's all there is to it. 
Oh, what's good? Selling them right from the 757. We here, we got the wins. The hard part is over. Everybody done made way. My way was pretty good, so let's just say I didn't really have to worry about that. Tomorrow, first fight ever. Everybody's fighting his first MMA fight. We're about to go out there. We're about to do work. We're about to do damage. All right, we just put in too much hard work to go out there and live. We're about to go out there and have fun. Yes, sir. Man, right here. About to get paid, baby. Ooh. About to make some money. Here we go. Here's the dead cake. Yeah. 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 Yeah.